So next up, what we're going to do is add some trees to our terrain and we'll have a look at some of the options that we can use to get that done. So let's come in a little bit closer so we can see what's going on. Great, all right, what we wanna do is switch over to paint trees. All right, so let's pick ourselves a tree to put in here. So let's just go to our project files. Polygon nature, prefabs, trees. Here we go, here's a range of trees to choose from. So we'll select our terrain again, edit trees, add a tree, and let's put in, here we go, this generic tree. So we'll drop that in there, add it. All right, so let's pick one of our trees. All right, so brush size, this is how big we're going to paint. So we can either go for a big brush and place a lot of trees at once, or we can go for a smaller brush and just drop in a couple. So let's go for something in the middle. Perfect. Now, tree density is all about how many trees we're going to paint in here. So let's have a look. We put that all the way up to 100. It paints as many trees as we can fit in there. Big sweeping forest. However, if we bring this down to 11, click. There's a, there's a few less trees there. So for us, we want to bring this down to 10. There we go, there's a little cluster of trees. Now, the next option we've got to change is our tree height. So effectively, there is a range here for how big our trees are going to be. So there's a checkbox for random. Uh, without it, you set a single height for a tree. Everyone's the same height. If we set random, our trees range from this height to this height. So let's have a look at what those extremes look like. So two, our trees are twice as tall. And 0.01, little tiny flat ones. So what we want to do is set our tree height to random. Come over here. And around about here in the middle, with about a third on either side is a good starting spot. Put it in and you'll see we've got a bunch of trees that are at different heights. It gives us that nice looking variety. Now we also have the option for tree width, which you can set in the same way. But this checkbox here, lock width to height, just means that whatever the, the height is set at, the width will be set to the same thing. So your trees will always remain proportional to one another if that's what you want. Otherwise, you can put this in and say, actually, I want the trees to be uh, more like this, which means as the trees go taller, they won't get any wider. You can keep things nice and narrow, or you can actually shape that out exactly like you want. And you can rinse and repeat that with all of the other trees that you want. So for these, let's go, we want these to be actually across the full height range. Let's just say not quite as small so we don't get flat. Pop the width to the height and pop them in. And like everything else on our terrain, shift is the opposite. So if we go shift and click, we can actually wipe out those trees. And for adding trees to our terrain, that's all there is to it. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, a huge thanks to my patrons for making all this possible.